Last year I started using AKK technology, video transmitters, cameras, and other FPV equipment in my uh, drone videos and my drone builds. Turned out they decided to send me some equipment to use in my future builds, and today we'll take a look at some of the items they sent me. Welcome back to the channel guys. First up, we'll take a look at the AKK CA20, which is a 600 TV line camera system for using in your FPV drone videos. FPV standing for first person view. This is a 600 TV line CCD camera with on-screen display. So the OSD is controlled by this little pendant. It's pretty standard for these cameras. This will look very familiar to many of you out there. The coloration gives it away as to what company they may have modeled this after. It is a great camera. I had a sister to this one from AKK on my 210, my original 210 build, and it is still working fantastic. With one exception that I wish they would update. The lens is a very narrow field of view lens that comes on it. What I end up doing is I swap them out for a GoPro Hero 2 lens that you can just pick up off of eBay or Amazon, and then you get a much wider field of view, and it just works fantastic for me. Some people may favor the narrow field. I like to see more is better, and I can get a, a better situational awareness of where I am in the sky and objects. Next up, we have the F3 video transmitters. I've got two of them here. Come really nicely boxed. I like the way AKK does their stuff. Uh, it's kind of Apple-esque. It uh, kind of punches above its weight for what you get. Here's the video transmitter module. It's an MMCX connector on it. Really cool. I, I really like this MMCX style connector actually. Here, let's get it out. They are kind of just new in the industry or getting accepted and it has a really uh, tight, tight fit and the odds of that coming undone or giving you grief are pretty, pretty low. So this has 25, 200, 400 and 600 milliwatt, but it's controllable via UART, which, which is beta flight compatible, which is really cool and only weighs 4.6 grams. Really neat little rig comes with the wires to hook it up and some basic instructions. This is what's going to go into our Red October build next, I think. Next up, we have the X1P, which is also a nifty little video transmitter, but in a form factor many of us will be used to. This is an SMA connection, a nice little pigtail, and a nice small video transmitter. But this is punches right up to 600 milliwatts. It's a 90 degree SMA on there and not much else to it. Comes with instructions and the wiring to hook it up. And also comes in a really nice little package, not just a little foil wrapper. So pretty cool. This is the style that I've used on all my quadcopters to date. I, I really like this style and this was the exact one I used on the, ooh, one of my 210s a little while ago. Works great, never an issue with it. Next up, we have the AKK X2, which is also a nifty little video transmitter. Same size as before, except we have an RP SMA coming out of there, and we can put whatever pigtail we desire on it. Little tiny bit smaller form factor. Comes with the instructions and the wiring that we need to hook it up, as always. But this one is 25200, 500 and 800 milliwatts, which is like absolutely crazy. 800 milliwatts out of that? That's a good little transmitter. Impressive. But it also supports pit mode and smart audio, which allows you a lot more options to interfacing with it and be able to use it for uh, drone racing. It also has microphone on board, which some do, some don't, depending on the brand. But good little VTX, nice and small. This would be great for another build, and I will use it here soon, probably this summer. Next up, we have the Nano 2s. The Nano 2s are a little bit different. They are a 25, 50, 100, 200 milliwatt transmitter, also with an OSD via UART, which makes them beta flight compatible which is really cool, it allows your firmware to interface with the VTX. But look at the size of this. 
It's tiny. Really neat little, uh, I forget the name of that connection. The ones I kind of don't like the most, but uh, eh, concessions have to be given. We'll see how this holds up. What I usually do is when I snap these on, I only do it once and then I usually hit it with a, a dab of hot glue. But this is just a, a standard uh, whip antenna or a dipole and uh, super tiny. Great for the smaller quads, like 180s and down. Great for really, really tiny builds. Could work real good. So I'll be using these in the upcoming builds. Like I said, the, one of them is immediately going into this quad and I have two more builds underway, including the 3D printed quad. So you'll see some of these coming up. I, I have a lot of faith in AKK. They've, their products have been fantastic and their customer service is, is beyond compare. They're really, really nice people. I didn't even have a problem with them. I actually sent them positive feedback in the first, uh, the first contact with them and they were, they were great. And that's actually how this, relationship got uh, got established so good luck in all your fpv builds guys go out and build something cool enjoy it go out and fly something it's absolutely it's a riot i will see you guys next video cheers